Restaurants in the Electric City are gearing up to go green tomorrow, and one place even invited some very special guests to welcome customers back. Newswatch 16's Elizabeth Worthington shows us who. There's a new cast of characters keeping spirits high at Cooper's Seafood House in Scranton. So you can't wait for tomorrow. It'll be fun. If you choose to dine indoors here on Friday when Lackawanna County enters the green phase of the state's reopening plan, you'll be joined by some very special guests. Yeah, we have Kramer from Seinfeld. We have uh, Tony Sopranos here. Um, Norm from Cheers is here. Uh, I believe Elvis is showing up. A uh, hunk of hunk of burning love. <laughs> the celebs aren't just here for photo ops, although that is certainly encouraged, but also to to enforce social distancing. Owner Jack Cooper says this was the perfect way to make the most out of a tough situation. It's been very difficult. We closed uh, after uh, St. Patrick's Day, we closed for six weeks and we then we just sterilized the whole restaurant, ripped it apart, cleaned it up. We opened for takeout uh, after that, which has been difficult, but we've gotten through. He got some help from a friend and local artist, Jeff no, D'Angelo. Normally, uh, I would take a week to make one, but of course we had to rush them for the for my friends, the Coopers, so we did them in about three weeks. Over at Bartari on Lackawanna Avenue, the owners of the Bar Arcade are welcoming customers back with blowout beer specials and plexiglass screens. And as for keeping the games clean, there will be one employee entirely dedicated to making sure every machine is wiped down and sanitized after each person uses it. We're excited. We're hoping the place will be, you know, at our legal capacity, but we just don't know what's going to happen. We just have to wait and see. Whether it's with a freshly sanitized pinball machine or a Dunder Mifflin employee seated in the booth next to you, Scranton restaurant owners can't wait to welcome you back inside. Elizabeth Worthington, Newswatch 16, Scranton.